Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Everyday Makeup Monday. Today my skin is feeling so dry, I've, I've just woken up and I've washed my face. I've already done my skincare but I just feel so dry and tight so I'm going to just jump straight on in. Hi, how are you? I'm going to jump straight on in. So I'm going to go in with another skincare product, this is the Boots glow essence and I do like this under makeup not that I'm going to be wearing very much makeup today I am doing a very sort of light glowy hydrating base because my skin just I feel like my skin needs it today so I'm just going to put some of this glow serum on on instantly my skin's like oh, thank you I really like this under makeup it does a really good job of like hydrating your skin to prepare it for makeup. I don't like it so much as like a nighttime step. For a morning step, I do really enjoy it. I don't know if I would repurchase it because the scent is really overpowering. I'm sensitive to scents at the best of times, but this one is is really really strong it doesn't last too long on the skin but it is very very strong so that has just oh instantly i feel better instantly i feel more plumped we're going double on the like hydrating front and the glowy front should i say this is the collection gorgeous glow filter finish of course who saw this one coming and i'm just going to drown myself in this because I need it okay I need it I would also like to know if you are my sort of skin tone so generally I wear like fair or light I have this in fair one but I'm wondering if I get the next shade down which I don't even know what it's called and I don't even know what it looks like but I feel like if I'm going for a super glowy bronzy look as I am today would the next shade be better for me. So if you are fair like me, have you tried the next shade deeper? So whatever number two is in this, because I feel like number two would be better for me in certain scenarios, <laughs> but I'd like to know what you think before I go out and buy it. <laughs> For concealer, I'm going in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Stretch Concealer. This is in the shade 4 Extra Fair. And the inner eye, I won't say bags, the blueness in my inner eye area at the minute is intense. So <laughs> I need something to cover that very very well so I'm going to start with this concealer and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with the L'Oreal foundation in a powder to set it in firstly and to add that extra coverage because that blueness is popping today so like I said L'Oreal foundation in a powder I'm just going to tap over all of that so that was one layer just with this small brush i'm also going to go in with a really big fluffy brush and i'm going to tap into that just a little bit and just make every make sure blah, make sure everywhere else is nicely set so it's still glowy it's still very dewy and juicy looking but it's not too sticky so i'm going to go in with the physician's formula butter bronzer and just use that to bronze up the face and I'm going quite heavy with this because I'm doing more of a bronzy brown warm eye look so I feel like the skin needs to be quite warm to balance that and then with the same brush I'm going into the blush this is the Kiko Longwear Hydra Blush in the shade Fairy Pink so I'm going to quickly just do the brows before I do the eyes, before I move on to that. So I'm using the Collection Incredible Brow in the shade Brunette 2. And I'm just going to build up some brows. <laughs> I really feel like I don't use this brow pencil 
enough like you don't even need a brow gel it's like the actual pencil is waxy so you can just brush through after you've drawn the colour on and it just does just set the brows in place and the colour is really nice I definitely feel like I don't use this enough so remind me to keep using this for the eyes I'm going to go back in with the same bronzer and just run that through the crease and I'm really gonna smoke this colour out because the products that I'm using next I'm just going to sort of keep on the lid also going to run this under the eyes and then the product that is going to be the star of the show in today's look is this this is the Revolution Pro Eye Luster Pot in the shade Brass now I have used this a fair few times but never on my channel never used it on video so I'm going to use it today I take just a fluffy sort of flat brush like this and it is it's a different texture to the Barry M metallic cream eyeshadows it's sort of drier where the Barry M one is a bit wetter and almost moussier this is definitely drier so it is different to work with it feels different they're both beautiful but I get this on the brush like so just tap in a little bit you don't need loads and then I just start patting it and blending it over the lid and through the crease just so that there aren't any lines or anything so that's one layer and you can layer it up so I'm just dipping in again same as before and then doing the same thing tapping and dragging to get the colour on and then blending and this is just so pretty for with blue eyes I feel like it really makes the colour pop because it's that sort of warm pinky goldy tone it does sort of lend itself to this sort of bronzy summer kind of look but it's so easy to do and it lasts really well all day like once this is on and it's blended and you just give it a minute it does set down it doesn't feel dry or chalky or anything like that but it does just last all day so then I'm going in with a brown eyeliner now I use a liquid liner so often on my channel but generally speaking in real life I use a brown most of the time I just find that it's softer and more natural and I love the look that it gives so much so much so that I think this is pretty much dead but I'm going to try it anyway this is the Maybelline hyper precise all day liquid liner in the shade forest brown and I'm going to try and just create a little bit of a wing but I think this product is almost dead but let's try it <laughs> we've got one wing let's see if we can do a second because we do need a pair okay not my finest work by any stretch of the imagination but we'll absolutely will do you probably won't be able to see it when I put my mascara on anyway so I want a little bit more shimmer because when do I ever not want a little bit more shimmer so I'm going to just tap a little bit of this over like the center of the lid this is the collection glam crystals dazzling eye liner in the shade 3 funk and I just want a tiny little bit of this just over the center of the lid just like that it's subtle but I like extra glitter on everything <laughs> pretty I like that so mascara I'm going in with the Maybelline lash sensational and I'm just going to build up a hearty healthy layer of mascara so that is the eyes done lots of mascara obviously to finish that off nicely so lips can't find the lipstick that I want the one that I want and the one that I think would look nicely with this is the other shade 
of this one that I have, the Colourish Shine. It's in the shade Coconut Plum and I can't find it anywhere, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this one instead. So first I will go in with lip liner, obviously the only lip liner that I ever use, the Rimmel in Rose Addiction, and then just a tiny bit, because I don't want it to be too red. Mm, it's darker than what I want. I'll go in with this one instead, so I'll just redraw the lip liner. And then this is the Revolution Pro Hydro Gloss in the shade Tainted. And I think that this will just be light enough to still go with the bronzy theme. I just felt like that one was a bit too red. Yes, that's better, isn't it? That's just a little bit more neutral. And I'm done. That is me done for the day. So if you want to see more of these everyday makeup Monday videos, there is a whole playlist. I will link it wherever you link things I will make sure to leave it in the comment section down below because I know where that is that's in that direction so if you want to see more of these then you can subscribe I do upload these every single Monday or I have done for the last six seven weeks I've been doing these now and I really really love it so if you want to see more of these and if you want to see more from me you can subscribe down below and I will appear in your subscription box three times a week a Monday a Wednesday and a Saturday but until next time thank you so much for watching bye